When people feel powerless, they do one of two things. They either give up or they fight back. So in this 13 Reasons Why season two review, we're gonna talk about the state of Tyler's mental health and I'm gonna give my thoughts on the notorious bathroom scene. So make sure that you stay tuned. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And man, first off, thank you so much. I've gotten about 300 new subscribers in the last two days. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So most of my channel is about mental health, how to help you out with your mental health as well as your emotional well-being. So if this is your first time seeing one of my videos, make sure you subscribe and stick around. So yeah, it's Mental Health Awareness Month and do me a favor, please share this video. In this video, I'm gonna be talking a lot about empathy, compassion, kindness, kindness, forgiveness, and things like that. And these are things that we don't really like talking about because we are wired for revenge, but we need to really look at how Tyler's story arc really could have changed had someone would have intervened. So anyways, let's start off this video by just kind of going through the history of Tyler on 13 Reasons Why from season one to season two, okay? So in season one, Tyler is a yearbook photographer and he falls in love with Hannah. He has a huge, huge crush on her and he gets a little creepy. He starts stalking her and taking pictures of her through her window, all right? And part of that was, you know, uh, Hannah as well as Courtney decided to get revenge on him by finding out who he is. But when Clay finds out after Hannah already passed away, Clay tries to get revenge on Tyler. So first thing we need to address is that I hope you guys are realizing how revenge on revenge on revenge on revenge doesn't solve anything, okay? That's why I really need to do more videos on anger management because it never resolves anything. And trust me, I get it. I used to be a very angry, spiteful person. And if somebody screwed me over or one of my friends, I wanted to get them back a hundred times harder. But the reality is it never solved anything. Towards the end of season one, you know, Tyler is doing his deposition and the tapes are released and everybody finds out what Tyler did. And this carries on into season two. So not only was Tyler, you know, found out that he was taking pictures of people, but he was constantly bullied throughout the school, much like Hannah was, much like other people are in this show. So in season two, Tyler is the first one who gets up on the stand and he talks about his relationship with Hannah, his crush, and things like that. And throughout this, you keep seeing him getting bullied and you keep seeing the other people who were involved and on those tapes, they still treat him like an outcast. And we're gonna talk about this a lot, okay? So Tyler's already an outcast and then he's set aside from the other people who are pretty much involved in the same thing and arguably did far, far, far worse things, okay? So in season two, Tyler gets sent to Mr. Porter's new class where they talk to troubled teens. And in this class, that's where he meets his new buddy, Cyrus. So Cyrus is a little punk kid. He likes to, you know, take, it wants to take down the system and all these things. And Tyler's like, yeah, man, I can get down with that, right? And they get this friendship out of it. And I was like, I was actually excited. I'm like, okay, Tyler might get in a little trouble, but at least he found a friend that he can click with. Now, the problem is, is that Tyler gets a crush on Cyrus's uh, little sister and she ends up liking Tyler as well. And we all know how that plays out, but I'm gonna talk about it, all right? So Cyrus and Tyler, they go around and they start trying to get revenge on all these other people like Marcus and Ryan and other people like that. And that's making them feel better, but not for long, okay? So then they finally get Clay involved and they go and they trash the, the baseball stadium. Now, here's the thing, so when we're talking about Tyler's helplessness, right? We we have to look at what's happening throughout the courtroom too. Like when somebody keeps, 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 keeps trying to make something happen, get some kind of change, and they keep getting shut down. So even after they destroyed the baseball field, like still nothing happened. They fixed it in a day and boom, it was gone. And even when they made Marcus dress up in a dress after blackmailing him, they, they even realized that they didn't even get Marcus back because he turned it into a publicity stunt. You know what I mean? So Tyler is constantly feeling like he has no power at all. Tyler finally gets the guts to ask Mac out and they go to the movies and you know, some uh, teenage boy stuff happens there and he gets really, really embarrassed. And you know, it puts Tyler in a very tough situation. By the way, for all of you young men and young women out there, don't date your friend's siblings. Just don't do it. There are many other fish in the sea. This is one of the reasons why, all right? But anyways, 
So then when they go to the concert and Tyler's hanging out with Cyrus and his other new friends and stuff like that, you know, him and Mac have this big fight. And then that's when Cyrus tells Tyler to, you know, kick rocks, all right? So now Tyler is back to feeling alone. He's back to feeling hopeless. He's back to feeling powerless. And then he gets invited to Alex's birthday where he wasn't even technically invited. But when he shows up, Zach and Jess tell him to get out of there. And man, like, I hope some of you can at least empathize just a little bit with Tyler on this one. Like, he keeps trying and trying and trying. So finally, when Tyler gets caught, he is sent off to this program and he comes back and, you know, he seems like he's uh, rehabilitated, he's reformed. And like, I was like, oh man, this is really cool. But things go bad really quickly. So. Before I get to the bathroom scene, let's talk real quick. Like, man, man, okay? Like, they, and when I say they, I mean the other characters. I'm talking about Clay, I'm talking about Jessica, I'm talking about Zach, I'm talking about Ryan, I'm talking about Tony. I'm talking about all these people. They should have really, taking a look at Tyler, like that's the thing, like by the way, if you're young and watching this, I'm sorry for what I'm about to say, but kids are stupid. Kids are just stupid. Like the fact that these, kids can't see what happened to Hannah is playing out with Tyler too and not take a step back and say, oh man, maybe we should change what we're doing. Maybe we need to quit being such a jerk to Tyler. Like later on, Zach even accuses Tyler of taking pictures of his little sister and he throws Tyler up against the wall and Tyler's like, what man, I didn't do it. Like these characters really should have emphasized empathize with Tyler like they should have started empathizing with him way off in season one and like I get it I, I get it some of you are like oh well he's a creeper and you know he was taking pictures through a window yeah okay like this kid has emotional issues and he has problems making friends like that makes you do some pretty weird stuff all right so you know how to solve that befriend him teach him another way so he doesn't feel so insecure so he doesn't feel like in order to talk to a girl or even look at a girl he has to take pictures through a window all right like we really need to start looking at what we're doing it's like man this is why i talk about compassion and kindness so 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 much when someone is feeling down if somebody looks like they're going through some stuff like go and talk to them befriend them you know and like when tyler felt so powerless and alone that's why he almost went to that dance and did something crazy but thank god God, Clay stopped him, all right? So, what ended up happening? Why did Tyler think that the only way that he could regain power was to go and shoot up a school dance? Well, it's the notorious bathroom scene, all right? So let's talk about that real quick. It is flabbergasting me. I never use the word flabbergasting, and I am flabbergasted. People are like, whoa, whoa, that scene was too much. That was too much. Why'd you need to do that? Really, people? Really? Like, you need to understand, the best shows and the best movies on Earth have iconic scenes that people never forget, all right? Let's think about Saving Private Ryan. Do you remember that very slow knife going into the guy's chest? Do you remember that? Or when I bring up American History X, what is the main scene that you remember? Could it be the curb stomping scene, right? That messed people up. But look, 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 trust me, I get it. I hate blood, I hate gore. My girlfriend thinks it's funny that I hate scary movies. Part of it is because of blood and gore, but I know most of you out there love horror movies where they do far more brutal stuff. Like, let's think about it. Saw, the entire Saw series, Hostel, or what about Human Centipede, okay? I don't know what it is about this show, but it is getting targeted for so much ridiculous outrage, it kills me. Like, this show is doing things that so many other shows and movies have already done, but for some reason, people are losing their minds over it. Like, relax. Relax, it's happening in other places. Why are people freaking out about this show? And by the way, what happened to Tyler in that bathroom scene, it's been done numerous times before. I have one example and I'm sure some of you out there can find some more, but if any of you saw that movie uh, from like the early 2000s called In Too Deep, it was about a mob kind of, or a gang, and they ended up putting a guy on a pool table, taking a pool cue, and doing the exact same thing. So relax, 13 reasons why I didn't come up with the most original idea on earth. It's a great show, has great writing, but hey, it's been done before, okay? So the next time you're gonna get outraged about 13 reasons why and the Tyler scene in the bathroom, like, just 
Just remember human centipede, okay? Relax. But anyways, anyways, the moral of this video is like, be kind, be compassionate. Do not bully the bullied, okay? What would change? What would happen in this world if the people who were outcasted were actually treated with kindness? Just think about that for a second. Think about how many tragedies we might avoid if we started to befriend the people that we thought were different than us, we thought were weird, if we thought were strange. You know what I'm saying? Just think that about that and take that into consideration for just a minute, okay? So again, it's Mental Health Awareness Month. Please do me a favor, share this video, or if you and your friends are talking about 13 Reasons Why, share this video with them. I would love to know your thoughts down in the comments below, okay? But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental health. Make sure you click that little round subscribe button and check it out. I made an entire playlist for 13 Reasons Why Season 2 reviews. Boom, it's right there. Go check it out, see if you missed anything. All right, so thanks again for watching. Be kind to one another, and I'll see you next time.